Hey everybody, my name is Shauna and welcome to my Shauna Moana channel. Today is Friday, you know what that means. Tuesdays and Fridays are my recording days and I would like to apologize for my last video. I felt like I rushed through it, but I also did not feel like myself. I don't know what was wrong with me. It was really, really strange. I can't explain it. I was just not in my recording mood. I do like to make videos twice a week, so yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me on Tuesday and I would like to apologize for my last video. It was really weird, I just, I can't explain it, it was really creepy, but when I tried to make a video during the day, my eyes did not look like my eyes. I know that sounds really creepy and weird, and you may not believe me, but that is just what happened. I was trying to make a video here on Tuesday and my eyes just did not look like my own I don't know what it was but I feel a lot better I don't do drugs or alcohol or smoke that stuff I just had a weird feeling that day I was not feeling myself I don't play with the Ouija board if you guys believe in that stuff that's cool. I would like to talk about my little experiences with ghosts and UFOs because I do have some experiences but I'm not like a full on believer like oh I believe in ghosts and UFOs and stuff like that. I just yeah I, don't, I can't explain it. It's really really weird. If you guys want to believe in that stuff you go ahead. I'm not going to judge you and um like I said in my last video, I'm not going to talk about religion or politics because that will often trigger people. Other people can talk about it, but I choose not to. And let's just get into today's video because I'm excited to celebrate uh, two birthdays today. There are two birthdays that I would like to celebrate. The first one is Steve Whitmire's birthday. If you don't know who Steve Whitmire is, he works for Sesame Street still. I don't know if he still works for them, but he worked with Jim Henson on Sesame Street and the Muppets and Labyrinth, and today's his birthday, which is awesome. I have a picture uh, with him. I'm sorry if it's a little bit blurry, but th that was on August 17th, 2019. So I miss it. I miss it. There was a Detroit Comic Con and I went and I got to meet Steve Whitmire. He's awesome. He was so nice and I got to stand with him. I got to talk to him a little bit. I got to stand at his table for maybe about 25 minutes. He let me do that. He let me do that. He's like, I wish I had a chair for you. And I was talking to him. I wished him a happy birthday and then I left. I came back to Windsor. Oh, hair got in my mouth. <sighs> that is why I want to cut my hair. I kind of want to cut it, but at the same time, I don't. I'm a little iffy with that. It's like when you want to cut your hair, but you don't want to cut your hair. And another birthday that I want to celebrate. <laughs> uh, it's Tail from Block B. It's his birthday today. And that's a picture of him. I'm sorry that I can't show clear photos of them. I wish I could. So it's both of their birthdays. They share the same birthday, which is awesome. And I'm really glad that they share the same birthday because their birthday happened to land on a Friday, which makes it perfect. It makes a perfect video. I wish both Steve Whitmire and Tail have a happy birthday. I wish them nothing but the best. I know the world seems a little crazy right now, but there's always something good that happens. Like even though if you have a bad day or if something bad happens to you, just remember that something good is going to happen after. And that's why I'm happy all the time. That's not always positive, I guess. I'm not always positive. I do have my bad days like everybody else. But when I get frustrated and I get really angry and I cry and 
something bad is happening in my life. I let out my tears and I feel better after because I know something good is going to come my way. Something good is come something good is going to come your way and that's just life. Life is weird and fun and exciting and we should all be thankful to be alive right now. And I want to eat and review a couple of Korean snacks because I brought three of them with me. I probably should have brought two, but I have this one thing called banana kick. The one, this is the second one called honey butter. And then the third one is called pepperon. So these are three Korean snacks that I get all the time. I get them at Multi Foods. They don't sell them at any other store. They do sell them, they sell these ones at the Superstore. It's so good. Mm -hmm. You know what? What I should have done, I've already had these snacks before. What I should have done was I should have bought snacks that I've never had before like Korean snacks that I've never had and reviewed them instead of doing these ones but oh well next time all right I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because I'm almost done the video I'm going to say that for later. I told my dad I'm not turning my YouTube channel into those food channels where people eat plates and plates and plates of food. I'm not doing that. I'm going to have to save these snacks for later because I'm not eating all of them. I'm trying to watch my diet. A lot of people like these chips. Not bad. I'm going to have to seal up those bags somehow. I'll find an elastic. I'll find a few elastics so I can reseal them. So this pepperon is pretty good. Some K-pop idols use them for kissing games. They would have, um, what is it? This. So one member would be on this side, another would be on this side, and they would do something like this, and then they would eat as much as they can until they kiss, or almost kiss. The package used to be red. I don't like this new packaging. But it's still pretty good. They have different flavors, but I happen to like this one the most because it's chocolate. If someone were to ask me, do I like sweet and chocolate snacks or salty chips, I would have to say I like salty food more than sweet food. So I do like some sweets, but frosting on a cake or a cupcake, I can't really handle. That is, that is too sweet for me. But salty food, like pizza, french fries, seafood, well, depends how you have it, like fish sticks or something. <laughs> I like salty food more than sweet food. That's just me. Alright, I had a little bit of those snacks, and I'm going to figure 
about how I have to wrap those up because I'm not really hungry. I have to put those stuff back in my bag. All right, that was pretty much my tiny, tiny review. I didn't really eat the whole thing because I didn't really want to. But I think that is it for today's video. I did a lot better than I did on Tuesday. <laughs> Again, I apologize. I feel much better. All right, please continue to subscribe. Like this video, comment down below, turn on the bell for notifications, and you guys already know the drill. My social media links are down in the description box down below. I kept messing up my sentences as we end today's video. I don't know why. If I forgot to say anything, that will also be in the description box down below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.